Hello and welcome back to another Plamo review. Today we're taking a look at the entry grade Kirby. Normally I would be starting with the articulation right now, but um, this is a statue. <laughs> so that would be a very short segment, to put it mildly. I mean, this is going to be a short review anyway, but I'm trying not to pet out the runtime. So let's start off the review by talking about the build experience, because, well, it's a statue, that's really all you're getting out of it. Being an entry grade, Kirby is very simple, 12 parts total, uh, not counting the stickers. That said, the statue is pretty much perfectly color separated out of the box. You do get a couple of stickers for the cheeks, but aside from that, all I've done is use a gray Gundam marker in order to give a little bit more shadow in the mouth. Everything else is color separated. And if you're at all familiar with this kit, you know that the color separation is actually a feature in itself, as if you pop the figure open, he's actually filled with the treats that he eats in-game. But that's not the only place that they put food items on this figure. They match the pegs and holes with other items from the games. And it's that attention to detail that makes this an incredibly fun build. I really enjoyed my time building this. But this statue does have one other feature that isn't actually advertised. If you flip it over, you notice that there's actually a peg hole in the bottom, which is a 5mm peg from an action base, meaning you can display Kirby riding his warp star in the air. And as for a quick size comparison, Kirby is, um, bigger than I expected. <laughs> He's noticeably larger than a Haropla Haro, so that's nice. And the Warp Star does add quite a bit of size to that. That said, he does fit quite nicely alongside those, so I plan on displaying them on my shelf together. It's good to give Haro a friend. Normally I would give my final thoughts here, but honestly this review is so short I don't think I really need to condense them. All I can really say is, I really like this kit. And if you are interested in getting one, I fully recommend you do so. Just keep in mind it is a statue. Anyway, that's all for this review. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, helps a lot. Subscribe and hit the bell for future reviews. Go follow me on Twitter for updates. And consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep making reviews just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building.